told you guys I was going to try to do this shit a little bit more often. It's kind of awkward, like, having y'all in my personal space and shit. But it's okay. I kind of like most of y'all. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm cooking again. I'm in my kitchen and I'm cooking. I'm tired, whatever. Uh, first day back to work um, after the holidays. And it is 9 o'clock. The reason why it's so late is because of the preparation of what I'm about to cook. Now, the actual preparation doesn't take a lot. Uh, I am going to be reviewing a, a bourbon, so don't worry, it's coming. The preparation doesn't take a lot, it's just the chicken and the way it needed to be cut in order for this to be represented well took a lot of time. Um, so I'm making uh, lettuce wraps, Chinese or Asian inspired lettuce wraps. Um, uh, I think my pan might have gotten too hot, but we're going to go ahead and throw some... I see. So I got some onions, right? You guys see that shit? I got onions. Throw that off in there like that. So I, I, I pre-diced the onions. To save time, I also get like garlic, like in a jar. Minced garlic. Um, and I'm a huge garlic fan, so I always take massive spoonfuls. Throw that shit in there like that right there. Right? Um, and then, uh, so I'm going to stir that around a little bit, and we're going to talk. Let's talk about some bourbon. Um, ooh, shit. Yeah. The bourbon that I am reviewing this evening is one that, if you've, if you've been drinking bourbon for a long time, then you probably know what the fuck this is, or you've probably had it. And you either went this way with it and was like, uh, or you went this way with it and was like, yay. Um, but the bourbon that I got tonight is one of my favorites. I'm going to tell you a quick story about how I discovered that it was decent. Um, when I met my now wife nine years ago, I was looking through her pantries. This is after we've been together for a long time. It's not like... You know, she went to the bathroom and I snuck into her kitchen and was going through her, uh, through her pantry and through her cabinets and stuff. I did that in the bathroom. Um, uh-oh, the fan just came on. Oh, before I go, got chicken. It's diced. There's a lot of that. Uh-oh, go ahead in there. Alright, so I was, uh, going through a pantry... And I looked way, way in the back of the pantry, up, uh, like up here, like in this drawer here. And I noticed I noticed there was like this small bottle way up in the back. So of course I reached back there and grabbed it and uh, once I got it I realized what it was and I was like, oh shit, okay. Okay, she, she, she gets down like that. Cool. Um, but recently it's become one of my, one of my go-to drinks. Um, and mostly because it's a decent pour and because it's a really good price for what it is. Um, you've all seen it before. You can kind of see it. That's a hint right there. Anybody got some guesses? Y'all know what it is. Any respectful bourbon drinker knows exactly what this little red top is. It's made out of wax. Red wax at that. And one of the only, if not the only, bourbon distilleries that actually does this. So, got it? No, 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 no. Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. Any motherfucker that I know that has ever had a Maker's Mark either has a horror story or has a funny horror story. I personally like Maker's Mark because it's cheap, but it doesn't taste cheap. I've had expensive bourbons that taste less than better. <laughs> that didn't come out right. It tastes not as good, <laughs> even more fucked up, as Maker's Mark. I got this bottle tonight for $23.99. At my local uh, local local spot for a little bit, yo. 
Once again, etching sketch, Glassworks, Trust Your Dopeness. This was the first project I collaborated with them on, and it's, all, it's still one of my favorites. Now, Maker's Mark, let's read it. Maker's Mark, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Check this out. What do you, wait, where's the camera? There it is. What do you see about that? The word whiskey is spelled with a Y and not an EY. Reason being, one of the founders or the founder, whatever, generational after generation, anyway, the original of the family bloodline or whatever came from Scotland. Whiskey. But it is a Kentucky straight bourbon, handmade, distilled aged and bottled by the Maker's Mark Distillery, Inc. at a Star Hill Farm in Loretto, Kentucky. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, sitting at 45% alcohol by volume, which puts it at 90 proof. Um, I've never been to Loretto, 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 Kentucky. Um, if ever I am in Loretto, Kentucky, it's because I'm going to the distillery. Um, actually, the people that put this out is with the uh, Bean Suntory Group. One second. The makers of Jim Beam, of course, and they, you know, took over uh, Suntory Whiskies, who also makes Hibiki and Toki and a lot of those other Japanese whiskies, which they're not bad. They have a little bit of a different taste, but I think, honestly, that the Japanese whiskey, since being with uh, Suntory, or since being with the Jim Beam uh, group, Slightly Americanized, which just that just shit like that happens. Um, so that was a that was a cool surprise because we're all friends with Mr. Beam and you know his cousin, Mr. Daniels. Anyway, let's get back to this makers. So there you have it. You see the color and the light. Once again, it's unless you're drinking fucking moonshine. All your bourbon is going to be about the same. The only time I've ever seen a different shade of this color is if it's American whiskey, which honestly I can't really, I just, I'm not a big fan of American whiskey. Anyway, so this smells like straight up alcohol. <laughs> like it, 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 the alcohol kind of just hits your nose and it hits it hard. Fuck all that floral fruit spice shit it just smells like straight alcohol and of course like I've told you guys from the beginning when I started doing these is that I always drink my bourbon neat what I've learned over the past year doing these videos is that sometimes sometimes you gotta put a splash of water I don't do ice cubes but I will take a splash of water and open it up a little bit maybe soften it but keep the same proof you know what I'm saying it's just, it's, and I pick on my, I pick on my homies for adding water to the Chavis, pussy. I'm, 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 I'm following your lead. So I take a little bit of splash of water. That's all I take right there. And if you, if you, if you were here, you'd probably be able to see the proteins in that bourbon and the fats coming out with that water addition. Now it's more subtle on the nose. Now you get those stupid fucking floral notes and slight little caramel and vanilla and slight little blah, 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 blah. Let's get to it. It still be biting a little bit, though. All right, so it, it, it does this warming thing right here. It just makes your heart all warm and your spirit all warm. Woo! Not bad at all. Actually, it's really good. Um, low heat and spice on the back end of the palate. Um, like I said, fuck all that floral shit. It's Maker's Mark. I can I can feel it right here. So I'm not I'm not mad about. It. I like it. I like it. It's cool. Um, it's good. It's one to keep in. You know what Maker's Mark is really good for besides drinking it straight up like it is, like I'm doing it tonight. Um, cocktails. I usually don't do like whiskey and coke anymore when I first started drinking whiskey. 
we would take shots from the bottle and then chase it with a fucking Coca-Cola. Um, I don't do that anymore. Um, sometimes a whiskey and Coke sounds good. Sometimes a rum and Coke sounds good. Um, but I don't, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I love the taste of the actual alcohol. So, I don't do that. But it would be, it is a good one when you have people over. You could buy the bigger bottle, which is like 40 bucks. Um, it's like 40 bucks. They come in different ones. They've got the Maker's, for, like, was it the Maker's 46? And then there's another one. Um, but like I said, for $23.99, this is going to have to do tonight. Um, I'm about to burn my food. Real quick on the food though. What I did was I chopped chicken breast, right? Like, see the size of my pinky nail? See that shit? That's how, that's how small the chicken is. I made some rice because the kids have trouble with, uh, see, rice. Um, the kids have trouble with, I don't know, folding lettuce over and making it like a fucking taco. I don't know. It's not one of those strong suits. Um, but... So I'm probably serving some rice for me and what I've got going on for the uh, for this year. So I count I count macros sometimes macronutrients. If you don't know what that is, it's it's basically your your, uh, your calories, your, your your but mostly your protein, your fats, your carbs, um, fiber, stuff like that. Um, but because I did, I trained today and it was kind of a lighter day than I wanted it to be. Um, my carb count is lower than say tomorrow if I train legs. So, um, so I'm opting for the lettuce, basic ass lettuce. I would get romaine, but with all the recalls and shit, it's bugging me out. So I figured I'd give it a few more months before I get some romaine. But in order to cut, cut corners, like I said, the chicken took forever. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to cook it with this broccoli slaw and you got your lettuce. I got a pre-made la choy. I grew up on this shit. You guys might not know it, but my mother's Filipino. So la choy is like, um, and then I'm going to put it all together, dump it in some, uh, dump it in some, a, a, a piece of lettuce, roll that bitch up, watch it all fall out, scoop it up, put it in another piece of lettuce and just keep going until, until it's all gone. It's very nutritious. Um. Sodium might be a little high, but, you know, eat a sweet potato or a banana tomorrow, you'll be fine. Drink a lot of water. Um, so, yeah, you have it. You have Maker's Mark, and then you have uh, Asian chicken lettuce wraps. It's, it's, it's simple. Like I said, you prep your meat beforehand and then buy this quick store, store brand stuff. Uh, it cuts down on the time of meal prepping and dinner by like a lot. It is late. My kid, my son's already asleep. But, um, these videos are fucking awkward. And I'm only doing them because I wanted to do something different and I knew I had to cook dinner for the family and I knew I was going to be drinking and I knew that you guys said do more of these so I'm doing them. You're, you're fucking welcome. Um, I don't know. That's it, man. Fucking Maker's Mark is awesome. I love it. $23. 99 cent at my local fucking retailer. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's, they take the shit right and they dip it. And it just... It's pretty awesome. Um, so that's it. January 2nd of the new year of 2019. One bit of advice I do have. Take care of yourself. Take care of your spirit. Take care of your spirits. Trust your dopeness. Guess I'll see you motherfuckers next time. Peace.